Personal Cash Flow. In this lesson, you will learn how to perform the basic functions in the Cash Flow Center. Many of these basics carry over to the other centers as well, so this is really the core information you need to work in Quicken. We will now bring you to your account list where you can manage your accounts. Click Select Accounts. Click Add Account to add a new account. Alternatively, you can get to Add Account from the main menu screen by selecting Banking, Banking Accounts, Add Account from the drop down menu at the top of the screen. Click Add Account. Select what type of account you want to add, then click Next. In this example, we will add a checking account. From here, you can create your account just as we did before. Click Done and we will see the new account added to the account list. Don't forget to give your account a name that easily identifies the account. Click Done to exit. To change the month selected, click one of the arrow buttons. To view the details of your cash flow for the month selected, you can click the Cash Flow Details button. Here, we can see a quick view of our money coming in and our money going out. Click the Close button when finished. We will now show you another way to add an account, as well as how to edit or delete an account. Select the Banking menu. Click the Banking Accounts menu. Click the Account List menu item. Once you select an account, you can use these buttons to perform various tasks. Go To will bring you to the account. Edit will edit the account details. Delete will delete the account. Warning, all transactions will be lost for the account if you delete it. Active Downloads will allow you to download your financial information from your bank to Quicken. Online Bill Payments will allow you to pay bills in Quicken. Note that many financial institutions also offer this service, some for free and some for a fee. Quicken Services is a paid service. Order Up or Order Down will change the location where the account is displayed in relation to other accounts in the same group. Here, you can change in what tab the account is displayed. This changes how the account is categorized. Example, Net Worth, Business, Investing and how it is used. Selecting these boxes are pretty straightforward. You can hide the account, choose not to include the account in totals for the group, or hide the account in the navigation area. 